If you're having a tough time really getting into the fall spirit, we've got a couple ideas for you. You want to watch a movie, but you don't necessarily want it to be a Halloween movie, yeah. a scary movie, a horror movie. We've got ideas, five of them, from the boys from Bull Moose, Brett Wickard and Mick Pratt. Thanks for coming in, guys. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. I like the theme here, so let's get to it. We'll begin with a movie that stars David Bowie. It's called Labyrinth. came out quite a few years ago. Why did this one make the list? Well, it's it's it it feels fall like, right? So so if you know uh, uh, the fifteen year old girl, she she really is annoyed by her her younger brother, and her brother gets taken by goblins, and uh, and then she has to go through a giant maze to try to get to the Goblin King to rescue uh, her brother. I like the way you kind of softened your delivery as you said, <laughs> "taken by goblins." Yes, taken by <laughs> goblins. <laughs> well, because they're they're Jim Henson goblins, oh, right? Okay. So, so this is a Jim Henson movie, so you know, it's not totally Muppet-like, but at the same time, it's not like that. That's where it's for, Muppet adjacent. It's Muppet adjacent, yes. All right, as we said, not not scary, not terrifying. Fall with a different twist. And 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 what's awesome though are some of the like a Bowie song in there, like. Che like cheesy songs that you can't get out of your head, you, this this will do it for you. Yes, this is my favorite. You yeah. need like an older kind of scary movie if you don't want to be spooked because yeah. you right. just sit there and you're like, okay, yeah. all right. <laughs> Especially <laughs> Bowie's, <co> Bowie's <laughs> yeah. Bowie's, yeah. 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 Okay, next on the list, you've got Over the Garden Wall, which is technically a mini series, but a little bit spooky. Well, so it's like it's like kid-friendly spooky. It's kind of like Secret of Nim. Uh, people would, would remember that. It's like the, the the fantasy and adventure of the dark wood so it's it's kind of got that Miyazaki studio Ghibli uh, idea but it was a Cartoon Network special from a couple of years ago and it just I don't know it makes you want to like drink hot cider and, and wear sweaters and, you know, like the spooky woods idea yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and with both of these actually have in common though is you know, people are annoyed by their siblings, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a concurrent theme We've for all been the movies. No. These two, yeah. <laughs> when I saw that you'd included Goodwill Hunting on the list, I thought, terrific movie, but I couldn't really tell what the autumnal connection was, and yet there is one, and I like that you came up with it. Yeah, so it takes place, most of the key scenes in the in the early part of the movie take place during the fall, but, but more than that, it's about kind of like capturing that feeling, capturing that aesthetic, and you know, a lot of the scenes are shot kind of dark, and it's it's set against the the fall of Boston, not the fall of Boston, but Boston <laughs> in the fall, <laughs> sort of a different movie at that point. But no, it's it's all like like sweaters and 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 crisp winds, and the leaves are turning, and then you see sort of like the leaves fall off, and there's barren trees. It's like it captures that mood, and then you know, also we had Dead Poet Society, uh, also with Robin Williams, right. kind of in that right. same vein, where again, you know, New England in the fall. Uh, sweaters, uh, vests. But, yep. And Robin Williams' big speech, uh, you know, to goodwill in there is all about, uh, you know, a Red Sox game, you know, yeah. a playoff game that he wasn't at because right. he was with his Good players. choice. Yeah. Good choice. <laughs> also on the list, that made me think, wait, why is this one on? When Harry Met Sally, I haven't seen it in a while, but <laughs> I do remember there were sweaters. Yeah, sweater. <laughs> this is a very sweater list. Yeah, yeah. So you know, this has set the new standard for rom com, and uh, uh, almost all of the major scenes are all like wrapped up, bundled kind of things. And if you think about it, all these walks through Central Park, are all autumnal when they happen. And it's it's not just the cover of the the it's DVD not just that is. DVD. <laughs> <laughs> One more fantastic Mr. Fox for people who have never seen this movie. This is just a really good movie on its own merits, oh, right? God, it's oh, such yeah. a great movie on its own merits. Yeah. I mean, Wes Anderson is kind of cheating when it comes to like uh, a, a autumnal. Uh, color palettes and things like that, but this is this is absolutely, you know, shades of red and oranges and browns and folk music and George Clooney and it was funny. So George, <laughs> George Clooney is yeah. very he's very well. No, no, he's got he's got that voice, right? He's got that soothing kind of like you know NPR that. kind of like radio voice. It's uh, kind of a. A hot cider and hot yeah, chocolate. Yeah, no, it's totally like <laughs> and, and, and cinnamon can donut be flawed, kind of voice. Clooney yes, can be yes. flawed. Yeah. Oh, come on. Clooney, yeah. Clooney's got a got a hot cocoa, hot cider kind of voice. <laughs> but it was no. Uh, Rewatching the trailer for this movie was also really interesting because like the trailer just does not do a it doesn't do anything to describe what the movie is actually like. It's it's very very funny <laughs> in that respect. Five great choices as always. Thanks for coming <laughs> really in, guys. Good list. to have you here. Stick around. We're going to be back with more of 207 right after this.